Hello all you lovely people at Drinks Tube. I am really excited because I am here at the White Lion in Hoxton with the lovely Ryan, hello Ryan, who brother. just won the most incredible, prestigious cocktail award of best international bartender. Bro, it doesn't <laughs> get much better than that. It doesn't, no. It's well done. Uh, thank you. We are gonna make two cocktails today. We are indeed. So I'm very excited, what are we doing? We're gonna do one that's kind of reflective of what we do here at White Lion. We prepare everything beforehand, but we do it very much where we're trying to control every element up. And then we're going to do one especially for you as well. You've written one. Uh, it's a ah. special cocktail just for today. So what's first then, so bro? So first up is a drink called the Purple Paint. We've created a paint. This is a blackcurrant paint. So to change the kind of translation of the drink, we put a bit of the paint around the inside of the rim. So as you're going to go take a sip of it, you get a little bit of sweetness. So this is just blackcurrant reduced with a little bit of pectin. You can make it at home just with some jam sugar. Everything is done by weight. So we try and measure everything as precise as we can so we know exactly how the serve is going to translate. Final flourish, just like you do it in the kitchen, that final garnish over the past. Just a lemon distillate over the top for the aroma rather than the, the kind of sourness itself. So you were very fast. Yes, there's a lot that goes into it behind the scenes though. So we use some hot spices that we toast, a gin base to begin with. So you've got all the distilled botanicals in there. And then so we infuse that and we kind of use vacuum infusion and then cook it sous vide to kind of really extract some of that oiliness. So we get kind of dry berries as a big crop and we split them down and we make a cordial out of that. So it gives this lovely kind of beautiful pink color to it. Wow. So it gives this lovely color, but it also gives that sourness, the astringency to the cocktail. I mean, what, what is your philosophy of batching? Why did you do it? Well, I suppose a lot of it was around control. It was about making sure that we could cover all of the elements, make sure it's perfect every time. But it was also about speed. Speed, consistency. And reducing waste. So what you should find is this nice kind of sourness around ah. the drink itself and then the sweetness on the lips just from the paint itself. It's delicious. I mean, part of me wants to be completely immature and just put my whole lips around the whole thing and just like <laughs> knock it back. But it's, um, it's delicious. It's very balanced, it's very clean, but it's got a, like a very distant little shake of Christmas in the background. Yeah, it's got that lovely nice. spice that's lovely. Yeah. Okay, so that is the purple paint. Beautiful drink, I like that. That sort of screams confidence to me. That's cocktail number one. That's cocktail number one. So the second drink we've done, kind of inspired by the way we put together cocktails, but something that everybody can do at home for the drink okay. viewers. Mm -hmm. And it's actually inspired by kind of a bit of nostalgia on some of your childhood flavors. So we've got some of the ah. Army and Navy sweets. I need to kind of just get you up to speed on this, because when we organized this cocktail session, he asked me, give me some stuff that like <laughs> speaks to you about your childhood and nostalgia. We used to love these. Anise, licorice, yeah. sweet, sour. So that's exactly what we've pulled out. We've taken some of that licorice flavor, but also we've used a nice scotch base for it. So I know you're a bit of a whiskey fan, so we've yes. used that to pull out. Um, and then also some of the other kind of your favorite flavors we've started to use in there as well. Well, what you've said are some of your favorite flavors. So you've got so, two already, army and navy and yeah. scotch whiskey. So dead simple, a little bit of soda water. 65 grams to be precise. So the Army and Navy are in there? Well, we've used some licorice bitters for that instead. And just simply, because it's a, you know, it's a tropical, it's a sunny day style drink, little fizz, nice little pineapple leaf as a garnish. But it's an Army and Jamie, so. <laughs> oh, I quite like that. Refresh our knowledge on how you did this so people at home can do sure. it. Sure, so it's, we roasted a pineapple to begin with. So you could do it on the barbecue or in the oven. We use the so blowtorch. skin off, core out. Exactly. So that's just then simmered very, very slowly with some ground almonds, water, and a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. And that makes our cordial. So do you put that for a sieve? Yeah, just then sieve it all out, get all the particles of the almond, yeah. and then just batch together with the whiskey, some lemon juice, bottled, top with some soda. Okay, I am really excited. Hopefully this should reminisce of some of the days and childhood a little bit. Well, maybe not the whiskey. Wowzers. Part. Almonds and whiskey. Great combo. Wicked and that combo. little licorice kind of note in the background. Yeah, sort of Just joining subtle. it all together. Delicious. Um, revelation here, uh, almonds and whiskey. It's a lovely combination. Wicked combination. So there you go, guys. I hope you like that, Ryan. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, congratulations on all your success. Guys, get down to the White Line in Hoxton. Come and check it out. Uh, if you want to see me doing some everyday batch cocktails, click the link over there. And if you want the recipe to this beautiful Army and Jamie, uh, look in the description box below. If you want to see me go from this beautiful place to something, I guess, something slightly more traditional, <laughs> Eric, at the Savoy in Absolutely. the American bar, then click the link over there and uh, you can see what I'm drinking tonight. Well, not tonight, but that night, when I was there on the night. Anyway, <laughs> cheers.